we are entering the land. This is kind of like some old warehouser, international paper land, I guess you would call it. Pines, this old road. It's kind of what I grew up hunting with me and with my daddy. We just had old warehouser land. You'd get, go behind gates and you would have actually have shooting houses on these old roads like this, you know? And uh, we'd always miss a bunch of deer or be looking up too late. They done cross the road, you know? That's back before you could stop them legally with corn, you know? They'd have to just cross the road. They wouldn't eat these old rocks. <laughs> They'd eat on that dirt, though. It's got good minerals in it. But anyway, just following the guy that's hired me to come trap hogs, and we're going to see what we can do. Easing on through these pines. Have y'all, y'all let me know if y'all used to hunt these kind of places, or do y'all have these kind of places? Just old hill country. High hills and low bottoms, you know? You'll be on the top of the hill and then you'll just kind of ease on down to the bottom and you'll go back on up. All right. We got it set up on this little food plot area right here amongst all these trees. Y'all seen the ride in. Uh, it's got, like I said, it's that kind of that warehouse or international paper type land if y'all used to hunting it. And uh, we got the big pig trap set up, four doors. Any which way, this is Mr. Charlie. He's the one that called or got us together. And uh, like I said, y'all been dealing with hogs for a little while. So yeah, he's a problem everywhere. Yeah. And like I said, he's trapped them here before too. How many you say you caught? Like I caught 17 my first trap setting a few years ago. So 17 a couple years ago. So hopefully, I don't. We, I haven't seen exactly how many it is, but I know it's some uh, five or six and then some piglets or shorts or whatnot. So hopefully this is first night. Y'all yeah, know how it goes. I usually say night three is drop night. But man, wouldn't it be nice to go and get it done and get out of here? I'm about an hour and 10 from the house. Uh, so it's a little bit of travel, but it's worth it. You got to stay on those wild hogs. I always tell people, don't matter if it's one or 10 or 100. You got to knock them in the head before it becomes a 1,000. Anyway, we'll see y'all when we see pigs. Full moon. Shining bright. Made it to another little town. Just in case you're still wondering if you need a sign. <laughs> Somebody told me I need to lead a Jesus out. There's your sign, buddy. Ain't leaving it out, bruh. Died on the cross for me and you. Oh, man. It's almost 6 o'clock. I'm waiting on the guy. I told him 6.30. And then I texted him. I said, it's going to be close to 6 when I get there. He said, well, he's going to be running behind. So, we shall see. Sun's trying to come up a little bit. All right, the gates is open. We're following the land on the end. Let's go see what these hogs gonna do in the daylight. This trap moved last night, so, ugh. Kind of scary. I, I kind of want to be here a little darker, but maybe we can get out. And they won't tear up, tear up too much on the trap. It was just moving because of the uneven ground, but we'll see. We're gonna get up here and see. All right. Here we go. I ain't scared of me that trap move, so just gonna roll right down here to him fast as we can. There it
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> last night. All right, guys. Well, we got a little little action there. So let's get these knocked down real quick before uh, they get two jump hats. All right. All right, guys. So we got it loaded up. We are done. I'm going to show you this angle. Like I said, it's, you know how it is. It's a lot of blood and whatnot. But anyway... We had some sharpshooters this morning. They're happy. How many? We, yeah, that's what I'm talking we about. We killed 14 hogs. Call this guy for all your hog problems. They, all of them. All of them. <laughs> they were smoking them ready this morning. We so. got it done this morning. So yeah, It was quick and easy. Yep. But, yeah. Success. 14 out of the 15. Yep. I always try to tell people I try to get 80%, but he, he's the one that told me to drop. He was watching them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know me. I don't like to let none go, but they said they got some thermals that they can uh, come back and get the stragglers. But we ain't done here just yet. Y'all see I got it loaded back up, and we're going to another spot, and hopefully we got a few stragglers left over in this spot, or, hey, maybe another sound of any which way. We're going to go to that spot. I'll show it to you when we get there. Thank y'all for shooting straight. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> so any which way, let's roll on. We got people coming to pick these hogs up, so we ain't even got to handle them. The only thing we did was, you saw it a while ago, was just line them up for that hero pick. And uh, I'm your hero, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so let's roll on to the next spot. They're all small ones. Do you want them too? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. And is yeah. It, this isn't hard to get to, but this other... Uh, this other spot is even easier than this. This one's a little damp. This other one is, is a higher ground, but it's yeah. more hogs. We're fixing to move this trap right now. now well, I guess. Well, they showed up while we was here, so they didn't need no help. They brought plenty of help, strong help. So anyway, we knocked the heads, feed the family. Let's roll on up here to this spot and get this trap set. We got some more hogs on this piece of property. Like I said, I'm about an hour, 10, hour 15 from the house. And I got to leave here, go check beaver traps, and then I got to go from this spot, about two and a quarter hours to the next spot, but it'd only be about an hour and a quarter, hour and 10 from my house. So anyway, a lot of traveling to do. And then at six o'clock tonight, I gotta go to Harlow's baseball game, which is 45 minutes from my house. So it's all day traveling. It's about 8, 15, eight-ish o'clock right now. So waiting on him to get done talking and we're gonna go set this trap up. Whoo, roll on, baby. Roll on highway, roll on through. Wait, I don't even know if that man had a toast. <laughs> uh, you're, you're known far and wide. I sent, I sent the picture of my buddy in San Antonio. Yeah. He said, hell, you know y'all know. I said, well, hell, yes, I do. <laughs> Ever since Monday. <laughs> Ever since Monday. <sighs> All right, guys, this is your new area right here. We come down that road right there, come down here in the hogs. So we just we just knocked that over because we're going to use that corn out of there. And uh, this is kind of our new spot right here. Oh, and hopefully we're going to catch some hogs right here. So y'all know how it goes, guys. Let me get this, uh, let us get this set up, and then we'll show you what we got. And hopefully it'll just be a waiting game. All right. 
guys. There you go. What do you think, Charlie? Uh, we're, we're sound or two's in trouble. <laughs> we hoping to get some. We hoping to get some. But anyway, we're finna head on out. Beavers, and then another hog crap set this afternoon, which those will be in separate videos, but at least you know what I got going on. We rolling out. See ya when we see pigs. All right, go. Ready? Ready? On your mark, get set, go. Are you cheating? Well, guys, you saw that action right there. Uh, I was about an hour and something from the house and whatnot. And you've already seen the video where I caught the 19 pigs. If you haven't, go to the previous video where I caught 19 pigs here. It's a mess. This is where the hogs tore up everything. So, But I come down here to get a camera. I had a trail camera over here, and I want to get it, take it to my hunting club so that I can see uh, if there's any turkeys hitting the fields and what like that, you know. Oh, I'm kind of a lazy turkey hunter now. It's like, if I see a picture, we get to go. <laughs> but that being said, when I got here, I'm going to show you. I didn't have any corn in here. I just put that out. But I'm going to show you why I just put that out. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to tell how many holes you got. But I've seen those little bitty tiny tracks right there in that mud. Let me explain this to you. I did not have little tiny pigs in this last video, right? But what I also noticed was pig tracks coming right up here so you got you got the gate right there right well all this is water you shouldn't be able to see those and then you got the pig tracks right on the outside of where that trap was so that told me i had more pigs that come in this trap so i went back and checked the notifications sure enough i had a sow and some piglets coming here so i put some more corn out i'm gonna put this outer back up and then i'm gonna raise the doors back up and that way now we'll be looking to catch just a few more pigs so anyway while i'm resetting this up harlow's been playing a little baseball last night he actually got the game ball for pitching six innings they got the big win and a district win so way to go harlow and uh anyway while i'm putting this back up together y'all be watching clips of the baseball and uh tell me what you think about old harlow throwing that rock come on <laughs> let me get these doors. I mean, let me get these gates back up. Now batting number eight. Yes, sir. Get down! Good job. He dropped it! He dropped it! He dropped it! There you have it. Let's see if we can find those little piglets and sows that come in back in here. Maybe they'll come on back in here. But that being said, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope y'all like Harlow. I will say that the video I just showed you was not the game where he did, uh, where he got player of the game or whatever for the ball of the game, whatever you call it. But it was another good uh, outing for Harlow, just showing some highlights and stuff. So I really appreciate, appreciate y'all supporting Harlow as well. Oh, what else we got here? Like I said, we got the corn out. Oh, y'all be praying for us well by the time you see this video we'll already know but my wife uh she really wants to buy a house we found a house we just don't know uh we just turned our taxes in so and you had to have two years of self-employment i've been right at two years will i get a loan will i not i don't know it's up to the lord to find out but anyway oh uh, if we do 
Y'all don't forget to go to yawp.com and buy some merch. <laughs> Support the channel. Might need a little money for a down payment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, anyway, oh. Until the next episode, you'll see this drop and maybe another one or whatever. I'm chasing turkeys. Got to go. I'll be on the road to go speak and uh, might go by and see Tyler Jordan while I'm in Georgia. Uh, Georgia and uh, check out the real tree farms. Who knows? But anyway, hi. I guess that's all I got to say. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for all that y'all do. Any which way, that being said, y'all have a good one. God bless and as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!